Hey guys, Alex Ryan here. A common question I get asked is how do you avoid these scammers on Alibaba? And it's a good question. Um, I've dealt with quite a few scammers in the past and the best way to identify them is obviously find out where they're located. If they're in Hong Kong, it's a good chance they are scammers, right? Because it's too expensive there to actually have a manufacturing. Second is jump on the phone, talk to them. Most scammers won't even answer the phone, all right? So you'll find that most uh, scammers would reveal themselves then and there. Where else? Oh, where am I? Oh, okay. Sorry, I'm getting a little lost here. I'm trying to find my, my hotel. Um, <laughs> all right. Um, getting the best price. If the price is too good to be true, there's a good chance that they are scammers, all right? And you'll find that with a lot of uh, scammers is they'll offer you a great price. So, you know, the, the, the typical price for that particular product might be, you know, $13 a unit. They'll sell, they'll sell it to you for $4 a unit provided you buy, you know, 10,000 of them, right? So they'll sell it to you for cheaper, but obviously uh, they'll want more volume. So uh, that's just something to be aware of. So guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're ever sort of unsure about scammers, um, one other thing is don't pay them the full amount. Never ever pay them the full amount. If they ask you to pay them via Western Union, there's a good chance that they are scammers as well. All right, so just be aware of that as well because Western Union is essentially untraceable. So they, they don't, you know, they can't trace that shit. So uh, yeah, you want to make sure that uh, you pay them by escrow or by credit card or PayPal. There's a few other ways, but uh, you know you don't want to be obviously taken for granted by some of these uh, unscrupulous characters. All right, I've got some uh, free video uh, tips actually on my web store and on my uh, channel, my YouTube channel. Definitely check that out, guys. Hope you're enjoying today's video. It, if you're looking to start a business and you're looking to import from China, maybe start something on on Amazon or eBay. Um, check out my other my other stuff, my other videos. I've got a lot of stuff there as well, guys. I've got some pretty cheap, darn cheap courses as well, getting it started, how to choose uh, the hot products. Most people don't even know what to, uh, what to buy or what to sell. So I've got a lot of products online as well, all right? I'm actually here in Shanghai for the next uh, few days. I'm, I've got about four clients here that uh, I'm meeting up with and I've got a whole bunch of suppliers I've already met with. Shanghai is a great place to come to. A lot of really good suppliers here. If you're importing silk, I've actually met one customer of mine who's doing silk and he's killing it and he gets his product from here. That's where they make silk and pearls. All right, guys, enjoy the day. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.